In this video, I am going to show you how to set up your Epson Rapid Receipt RR70W scanner with the Macbook. Go to the Macbook screen, open the web browser, type in www.epson.com slash sport slash rr70w, search, scroll down and look for your scanner name. So this is from the epson.com, select it. On this screen, you will see your scanner. Scroll down and look for the drivers. It will display your operating system. And here is the driver and utility combo package installer. Click on download. Open this file. Double click on this and install it. Open agree with the terms and conditions select or deselect any software and any information you want click next select the first option connect via wireless network Wi-Fi and click next so now we have to set up our scanner so click next click next and click next now we can click next again Move the wireless button to the right hand side. Also the power button to the right hand side. Now connect your scanner with the Macbook using the USB cable that comes with the scanner. Automatically it will detect your scanner. It will ask you to join the Wi-Fi network. Confirm it. Setup is complete. Our scanner is connected with the Wi-Fi network. Now you can keep the USB connected if you want to charge your scanner and click next. You can also do a test scanning but I am just going to skip it right now and we will do a scanning in the end. You can also check for updates or you can just uncheck it. So setup is complete. If you want you can register your Epson scanner or you can do it later. Just close all the windows. So this way we can do the setup of this scanner with the Macbook and now we can just unplug the USB cable once it is fully charged. To do a scanning we can place any document in the scanner. So slide it in, it will hold the page. Now click on the scan icon. It will open the scanning software in the Macbook automatically and the scanning will start. So let's see the scan result that is here. Now if you want you can rotate it, crop it or you can just add more scans and if you want to save it click next. On the next page give a name to your document. Select if you want to use it as a simple PDF, JPEG or any other format select the location and click on the save button so this way we can do the complete setup of this scanner using a macbook and then we can start using it for wireless scanning thanks for watching